The Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Arch, erected in 1892 in the Grand Army Plaza at the foot of Prospect Park in Brooklyn, New York, is a triumphal arch dedicated to the defenders of the Union, who fought in the American Civil War from 1861 until 1865. One year later, the construction of the Soldiers and Sailors Monument concluded in 1893. The Soldiers and Sailors Monument, which commemorates the Union Army soldiers and sailors who served during the Civil War, is located at 89th Street and Riverside Drive in Riverside Park on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, New York. Traditionally, triumphal arches are erected to give troops returning home from war the opportunity to leave the outside where they were behaving as savage soldiers and return to the inside city where they are to live and behave as peaceful civilians. An effective monument serves as a model of how civilians are to move with the world, and the arch in its traditional form calls on people to move together and to participate in the monument itself. After the Civil War, a war that shaped how the nation would grow and develop as a democracy, the Soldiers and Sailors Arch, as well as the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, were erected to commemorate the defenders of the Union. Though their construction occurred at the same time and in the same city, and though they both commemorate the Union, the arch, in its form, is a more effective monument and that it serves as a model of how people are to participate within their democracy and initiate public movement. The Arch of Titus, which was constructed in Rome during the first century to commemorate Emperor Titus's military victories, has provided the general model for many of the triumphal arches erected since the 16th century, including the Soldiers and Sailors Arch. The relief structure on the south panel of the Arch of Titus depicts soldiers carrying the spoils taken from the temple in Jerusalem, the main focus being on the menorah. This depiction creates a togetherness feeling when Romans walk through the arch, the idea being that they are walking with the soldiers who are carrying the loot they acquired in the siege of Jerusalem, and both celebrating and commemorating this victory not as individuals but rather with all who have and will pass through the arch. The Arc de Triomphe, modeled after the Arch of Titus, was built between 1806 and 1836 in Paris, France. Like the Soldiers and Sailors Arch commemorates those who fought and died for the Union during the American Civil War, the Arc de Triomphe commemorates those who fought and died for France in the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. Triumphal arches, including the Arch of Titus, the Arc de Triomphe, and of course the Soldiers and Sailors Arch, represent a desire for community and for the participation not only in the monument itself, but in the happenings that occur within the city of which it is a gateway to. It is important for a monument to be effective for both the viewers of the monument as well as the person, people, or event the monument commemorates. As previously mentioned, an effective monument serves as a model for how civilians are to move with the world, as well as invite viewers to participate in both personally experiencing the monument as well as in its commemoration. Although both the Soldiers and Sailors Arch and the Soldiers and Sailors Monument successfully commemorate the Defenders of the Union, it is the arch that is the more effective monument because it welcomes people to participate in the monument while also inviting them to participate in the community of which it is the gateway to. The outside to inside transformation that occurs when passing through a triumphal arch not only symbolizes public participation, but is also a physical act of public participation. The Civil War was fought to determine the survival of the Union or independence for the Confederacy. With the victory of the Union in 1865 came the inspiration for the three Civil War Amendments, which were ratified between 1865 and 1870. Under the 13th Amendment, slavery was abolished, while the 14th Amendment granted citizenship to all persons born or naturalized in the United States, including former slaves, as well as provided all citizens with equal protection under the laws. Finally, the 15th Amendment prohibited states from disenfranchising voters on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. The Civil War Amendments, also known as the Reconstruction Amendments, influenced the nation's future as a democratic government, run for the people and run by the people. Without the Civil War Amendments, privileges like equal rights among citizens and female suffrage would likely be non-existent. The Soldiers and Sailors Arch triumphantly commemorates the valiant efforts of the Union, whose victory influenced the encouragement of the public participation that is integral for the success of democracy and illustrated by the Arch's form. Triumphal arches can be seen all around the city, which is a reminder of their significance in New York 
and their ability to bring people across the many different cultures that exist in all five boroughs through a unifying structure that invites people to join fellow civilians and participate in all the greatness and its many different forms that, together, define New York City.